everyone live it like Lisa here okay so this is gonna be my absolutely last project for Halloween this year because I'm actually absolutely Halloween out I'm just exhausted I'm over it I just yeah I'm just really really tired it's about 10 30 at night uh, Friday night and I just I just have to get this witch's hat done because it's just not going with my witch's shoes and potion bottles the way it looks at the moment so i'm just going to give it a bit more of an authentic sort of look about it and yeah this is it though this is my last one for this year i don't even know if i've got any more ideas left for next year i think i've done them all <laughs> so let's get started so what i'm starting with is a cheap two dollar plastic witch's hat it's like a not a plastic one it's um uh, what's this i don't know whatever this material is like and what i'm gonna do is cover it in this gauze material now i think this might have been from a gauze bandage like a triangular bandage or something like that and yeah we're gonna cover it with this to give it more of a, an authentic witch's look and then we're gonna paint it and decorate it what we're gonna do first is stuff it to keep it shape and then cover it in some pva glue cover it in the gauze and then let it dry overnight so let's get started so i'm just using some plastic bags just to stuff into the hat and hopefully hold its shape a little bit there's our hat now for this I'm just using my trusty PVA wood glue and like I say in all my videos it's PVA all-purpose glue you can use this for anything so that's what I'm going to use I buy this big one from Bunnings for about $20 and I find it's a lot more economical because there's four liters in this as opposed to like a 500 ml bottle that might be around five dollars or so I'm just going to pour a bit into this old paint tin just to make it easier to get to it and I'm just using an old paintbrush and we're just going to cover the whole thing in glue and you just want to sort of lay it on with a few wrinkles in it like this. what we're gonna do is just spray paint this all black now um, I'm just using I've got satin black matte black I wouldn't probably use gloss but if you've got matte or satin black that would be probably ideal um, so what I'm gonna do is just sort of shape it a little bit now like I want to have that little bit of a crook on the end of it it's a bit windy out today so it's probably not ideal Okay, so we'll leave that dry. I don't think it will need another coat, but we'll see what happens when it's all dried. Okay, so now it's time to decorate. that I'm doing uh, the glue is all still sort of drying off a little bit but what I'm gonna do is I've got some of that brown 
rich espresso metallic paint and I'm just going to highlight a couple of little areas just with a little bit of paint maybe a couple of the spiders Here's the finished witch's hat now. Definitely looks a lot more authentic than it did when we first started. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way that's turned out. And I've just sprayed it lightly with a little bit of this Saturday Angels Glimmer Mist. Oh, geez, I had, I've had this for so long since my early scrapbooking days. And the colour I sprayed it was Black Magic, which actually is quite fitting. So that's why it's quite glittery. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with the way that's turned out. And the, the green actually looks a lot brighter on camera than it actually is in real life. That's why I sprayed a bit of that glimmer mist on it just to um, tone down the green a little bit um, in, the, in the moss. So yeah, that's the, the finished hat there, guys. And this is officially my last Halloween DIY for this year. Thank God I am so, so exhausted. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Share this video with your friends if you think they might be interested. And I will see you in my next video. Have a happy Halloween.